Good morning, WLE family, and welcome to chapel on this Monday of Holy Week. If you were a visitor to WLA and you were walking down the halls during passing time on a normal pre-coronavirus day, and you were looking at the hundreds of WLA students, do you think you would be able to tell right away just by looking at them what they are like? Could you tell just by looking at this certain student that he or she is an athlete, that someone else is a gamer, that someone else is a good singer, that someone else is artistic? Well, maybe a little bit, right? You know, some people look athletic and they are in fact athletic. And I think we have, we all have preconceived stereotypes in our minds of what jocks look like and gamers look like and musical people look like and artistic people look like, so on and so forth. I think all of you have lived long enough to realize that that's not true. You really can't tell what someone's like. You can't tell what someone is just by looking at them. First appearances can be deceiving. You really get to, you, you have to get to know someone over time to find out what they really are, what they really are like. On Palm Sunday, which was, is the first day of Holy Week in which we celebrated yesterday in the Christian church, Jesus really did not look like a king. He rode into Jerusalem on a donkey, and it wasn't even really a donkey. It was a baby donkey. He didn't look like a king at all. And if he didn't look like a king on Palm Sunday, he really didn't look like a king on Good Friday, just a couple of days later. If you can remember that scene, Jesus was in front of Pilate, and he Jesus was bloody and beaten up and bruised. And Pilate said to him, are you a king? Because that's what people were saying. And of course, just by looking at Jesus on Good Friday or on Palm Sunday, the obvious answer was no, this guy's not a king. But remember, people are not always what they seem to be. You can't really tell what people are just by looking at them. And the fact of the matter is that Jesus is a king. Even as he was riding on that wobbly little baby donkey on Palm Sunday, and even when Pilate asked him, are you a king? Jesus looked at Pilate out of his blood encrusted face and he said, yes, I am. It's just that my kingdom is not of this world. I'm a king, but you just can't really see it. Right this moment, Jesus is the king, sitting on his throne in heaven, ruling over the universe ruling over all things. You and I will not take our next breath unless Jesus says that we can. The sun is not going to come up tomorrow unless Jesus makes it come up. Jesus, our King, is ruling over everything. And the Bible says he's ruling over everything for our good, for the benefit of his church, his believers, those who love him, us. Now, it may not look like that, especially at a time like this. We're constantly hearing about how more and more people are getting sick and, and people are dying. And it's very possible that for some of us, that's going to touch us sooner or later. People we know are going to get really sick and maybe some people are even going to die. And even if that doesn't happen, our lives have been turned upside down. You're cooped up in your house. And if you're a senior, it's very possible that you're not going to get to play sports in the final season of your senior year, which maybe you were really looking forward to. Maybe you were hoping to go on the D.C. trip and then that's been canceled. It's very possible that we're not going to have prom. It's possible that we're not going to have the normal graduation service. Everything seems chaotic. Everything seems random, like no one's in charge. But Jesus, our king, is in charge and he is guiding us 
and leading us just as he has been doing for his people for hundreds and thousands of years. And ultimately, he is leading us to his heavenly kingdom, to be with him where we will actually see him face to face on his throne and worship him and receive his blessings for all eternity. And we know that's going to happen because of what he did during this holy week as he went to the cross to suffer and pay for our sins. When we remember that, how can we ever question that Jesus is our good and gracious King? Thanks be to Jesus, our King. Amen.